is beautiful right now. It is just, I think it's like upper 70s right now. This is kind of weird. I do know we're supposed to get some spice, which is crazy because you see what this looks like right now. It's all gorgeous and stuff. Like we say, wait 15 minutes, the weather will change. So we're gonna have some spice rolling in here later this afternoon, I think. I uh, just got a couple warnings. So we will see what comes of that. But uh, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna hop in the garage really quick. We're gonna record a podcast. Had a lot of questions on the status of Tennessee. What, what is Tennessee like right now with COVID as far as restrictions, as far as masks, as far as all that goes. So we're gonna answer that really quick. Still working on getting the girls on. They have their questions. They're working on the answers. They're working on all kinds of stuff. So I want it to be beneficial and valuable to people so we're not running in, rushing into it. But uh, that one is coming. This grass is ridiculous. I just mowed Monday. And it's so long already. Like this is, it needs to slow the heck. Winter needs to get here, fall and winter. Cause then we put the mower away and we don't see it again until spring time. My favorite time of the year. Interesting fact, I was talking to Charles, the neighbor, and he said, one of the best times to plant grass seed is when it snows. You just throw it right on top. And I guess the snow melts, like the grass seed goes right into the ground with it. So it's the best way to sow it, I guess. Don't know, don't know. Learning new things every day though. Veggie bin is going good. Got squash drying out. Lazy pups, what's going on girl? All the puppies, all the puppies are partying, huh? I think you like mail time better than anybody else, huh? You just love these boxes. You just love these boxes, huh? Do you like the boxes? Does she look bigger? Does she look bigger to y'all? I can't, I mean, you can't tell, you know, it's like when you have a baby, like your baby looks the same size, doesn't grow anything, and then like someone doesn't see him for a week, and they're like, oh my god, your baby's so big. Huh? Are you bigger? I guess you kind of look bigger, huh? That's the only box we care about, huh? Is that the only box? I'm gonna teach you how to open boxes, that'd be so cool. I'm gonna have, a, have her do all the box reveals. Watch that paw, girl. Can you open it? You good? You're happy with that? Okay, she's happy with opening that. We'll open the rest. So we already know where this is coming from, right? But this month, oh, everyone's excited about this one. Lava Panther, this is like the most epic, this is the most epic name you can think of for a coffee. Right, for the coffee of the month, Lava Panther. Mace, what do you think? Did you know this is the 86 point? This is the 86 point from Guatemala. So this is sourced from like uh, lava fields down in Guatemala, I guess. The boys at Black Rifle did a whole uh, series on this one, actually sourcing this one. Really cool on YouTube if you look that one up. It's actually a really cool two-part series where it shows how they source uh, their coffee, how they taste it, how they how they visit multiple farms and check out the coffee cherry and and all all the process that it goes through to wind up in this bag. Really cool process. So if you check that out, there's two part series on their YouTube channel. But I am looking forward to that one. That is a uh, that is just. I mean, we've had the llama, we've had the koala, we've had lava panther. Just they keep they keep making it fun, and I think that's part of the cool thing too is just the cool des bag design, the stickers, just black rifle makes it fun and a lot of people have have started subscribing to black rifle and i think that's awesome one of my biggest things with black rifle people will say the coffee is expensive um it's not so much the coffee is expensive it's it's up there when you're getting sourced coffee like that and you're not buying just typical store brand blah coffee uh the shipping kind of gets you that's where it kind of bumps up the price a little bit. So you're at, you know, 18 or $20 a bag, but it's because of the shipping. But again, I endorse Black Rifle and love Black Rifle um, because of what's behind it. So again, it's not for everybody. That's fine. I understand that. If you like store-bought stuff, you like being cheap with your coffee, that's fine. But I like knowing where my money goes, right? Starbucks CEO, Dunkin' Donuts CEO, um, I don't know anything about them. I don't know anything about their lives. I don't know where their money goes. I don't know how they spend their days, but I do know how Evan and Matt Best, I know how they spend their life and what they do to dedicate to uh, veterans and everything else. And they just love to have fun. And so I like to back that. That's why. So that's a, I'm often asked why, um, uh, Black Rifle. 
a very good reason why right there. You done opening? So, I had some Best Buy reward certificates from ordering that fridge. Uh, we had some reward points come over, so I had some money to spend. So like I said the other night, so investing back into the equipment and everything I use in order to produce videos, whether it's wedding videos or business videos or just YouTube vlogs or daily vlogs, that's what I wanna do and that's what I like doing with my money. Really would like to get the Canon R6. Really would like to get that, but uh, China has major delay uh, and it's back ordered everywhere unless you wanna buy a super cheesy lens to go with it, which I don't. Um, so the cameras are on hold. So for now I'm gonna be buying other stuff to help produce more content. That was buying another Mavic battery. So now I have three, should be fully stocked. That gets me an hour and a half of flight time uh, amongst the three batteries, uh, which is good because we have a, a, a pretty big event coming up this weekend that I'm gonna document. This event should be fun. Uh, I imagine a pretty good turnout. Um, I imagine some pretty good uh, controversy and maybe people in the comments or or subscribers on following or something. But hey, it's coming. Like there's nothing you're gonna do. I'm not gonna hide it. I'm not gonna pretend. Uh, I don't. I don't build a facade. I don't hide things. I don't uh, curate content. You know, to to be more appealing to subscribers, to get more subscribers or more likes. Uh, I like being real. So so this weekend will be fun. Uh, another ad. The media mod. So this will be fun because uh, right now, many of you all have asked, I use the GoPro 8 for all of the daily vlogs just because it is so simple to run and gun with. It's small. I can take it anywhere. It's it's not as like obvious that I have a camera and I'm filming all the time. Um, but some of the things that do lack is audio. I do have to bump up audio, but the 8 has come a long way as far as audio goes when it comes to a GoPro. Uh, but lighting is a big one too. So with those reward certificates i cashed in on the media mod so this is a big big addition to the eight it has a an additional shotgun mic here and then you can add your own mic and then i also added the light so this light should come in handy uh maybe i'll try using it when we're indoors i'll show you guys a couple different scenarios because some of you all say you know that the videos do come across dark i've got bigger cameras that i can carry with good lenses and carry it on the joby and look like a typical vlogger and stuff i don't like to do it i like convenience i like to be small i like to be quick run and gun i could throw this thing around nothing happens to it waterproof aspect if i get caught out in the rain i'm good because i'm still covered because it's waterproof just there's a lot of things i don't have to worry about hyperlapses just the list goes on and on and 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 i know i give gopro a hard time about their batteries yeah what are you gonna do you know just keep a bunch of batteries on hand. You can switch them out. But uh, overall, the 8 just does the job and checks all the boxes for me. And now, hoping this will just only add up. So I'm excited. Actually, let's see. Let's see if this thing makes a difference right now. All right. So this is with the new media mod on there. Sound any different? I didn't do anything to the audio just before. I'm not doing anything to the audio now. Does it sound different? I don't know. Kind of cool, though, because it gives you different options where... Um, Actually, let me take it. I can't take it off because it's already on. So it gives you different options. There's, let me show you on the box. So you have a mic right here. You have a mic on this back side. So when you're using the media mod mic, um, like right now the mic is on the front facing mics. So it's picking up anything when I'm doing. Um, so now it's picking up anything when I'm doing like selfie wise and then you can switch it to the back facing mics. So if you're going to be doing something where you're walking and talking like this, and then there is a stereo mode where when you don't have wind or anything, you can turn on stereo mode and it kind of grabs everything. So hopefully that's the one we can use more often. Um, when we don't have wind, it is a little windy right now. So I did not turn that one on. So that is that. So this is, it's a little bulkier. I don't know. Hmm. I'm probably gonna go use this thing in certain situations when I'm out and about, maybe when we're doing a hike or something and I need better better mic. It's not bad. It is kind of cool with the cold chew thing. So we could do all kinds of adapters. We could put a secondary mic on here if we want and plug in, which is something GoPro does not allow you to do. Just hook up a regular mic to here. You have to have a special connector. So that's something we can try. Um, I'm gonna be playing around with a lot of different stuff on here just to see what works best. This is the light mod. It's rechargeable, it's waterproof. What's interesting is this is waterproof, but the media mod itself is not waterproof. So I can't go into the water with the mic and this kind of stuff, which makes sense. Why would you need a mic on water? Uh, but the light is. Don't know how that'll get used, how much it'll get used, but I had, I had the... I had the certificates, so I figure I might as well add these things on. It might help with the daily vlogs, it might not. So we'll try adding this one on later on, see if it makes any difference inside. Wow, okay, so I just threw this little light on here. This, this thing is bright. This is really bright. Let's see. This shows you guys the difference really quick. 
All right, so this is just typical inside uh, when I don't have lights on or anything. I like I like lights off because it keeps the house cooler, I think. Uh, this is typical, right? So when I'm filming in here and y'all say that it's too dark or something maybe. So let's try with the mod light on. That's the lowest setting. Does that make a difference? Does it look too spotlighty? Can't tell. I don't know if I would really have this on while I'm in the house. Go to the second level. A little bit brighter. Can't tell because I can't see the screen. Third. Really bright. So... I mean, I don't know if I'd use this. See, is this reflecting right here, the license plate sign, maybe? I don't know, does it look too like fake just with the LED? I don't know if I'd use it, see, but it's just something, it's an option. Option when I, when I cruise around, just to give us some more light and you guys can see better. I don't know why you'd have an SOS strobe. Like, why would you, why would you do this? Like, I don't wanna look at this. And I'm certainly not turning this thing on if I'm in trouble. Like, that's the last thing I'm gonna have is my GoPro mod light. Really weird, GoPro. Okay, now that I can't see for a while, the media mod, we'll see. We'll see if anything happens with the mic, see if it's any different. Um, Y'all will be able to give me feedback because I'm gonna try using this for a little while and just see if it makes a difference. If not, then uh, I wasted uh, some certificates, but that's okay. Gotta try new things out and keep improving for, for everybody. We can actually try this too. So simple little external road mic, uh, it's just powered just natural power. It doesn't have its own battery, so you're not gonna get a ton of power out of this thing. But I could put this on the other cold shoe. This would look really funny, like walking around with this. Rode does make a smaller video to go mic that you can put on here. Let's see what happens when we plug this in, if I have to change the setting. So this is, this is without an external mic. This is with an external mic. Don't know if there's a sound difference yet. Let me check the preferences. So I think there is because the little mic icon in the corner of the screen is like giving a plus sign and when you take it away there's nothing so I don't know does this sound any better find out I'm not gonna know until after when I put this into post and start editing so see around see what we have to play with uh, maybe maybe I'll carry this around I don't know maybe if I go out and do an event or something I'll take this if I need to talk to people it might help but what do you think mace I don't know Anything I could do to improve the quality and the content on this channel, I will do. So we'll have to play with this and see where we go. All right, radar wise, Spice looks like it's right on top of us. So I expect this to turn a little nasty here in a couple minutes. See what happens. I wanna try this out, see if this picks up anything uh, thunder wise, if we do get a little, a little bit of rumbling. Let's have to wait and see right now. Just like that, we're done. The spice has moved on. We're back to blue skies. Now we get back to playing, Mace. You wanna play more? Let's go.